In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the latest Divi feature, which will enable you to work even faster as you're designing your website. So this is the filters button. Today's tutorial is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, plugins, and layouts. The link is in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to start off by creating a brand new page. We're going to call this page filters, and then I'm going to come over here, publish the page. Okay, so now that my page is published, I'm going to come over here to use the Divi Builder, and then I'm going to go straight to the Visual Builder. Okay, so to make things easier for us, we're going to use a layout pack from our Divi library. So I'm going to click on Load Library. So the layout I'm going to choose is, let me take a look. So let's go with this one here. Okay, I'm going to click on Use This Layout. Okay, so I'm going to delete this first section here. Right, so off the bat, you won't see all the changes but if you come into any one of these uh, sections modules or rows you'll notice that you have now this filter button here on the top so what i'm about to do is to show you how this button works and how you can best utilize it okay so one of um, the problems that i used to have was when i load a layout pack it'd be quite uh, difficult to re-engineer and see where all these changes were made so I would have to go in and try, like for example here, do we know where this background image is added? Is it on the section or is it on the row? There is no way of telling this. So you'd have to go in here and just try and check. And right now we can see it's in the uh, row settings. But maybe you could start off by going into the section settings to see if it was added there. So the easiest thing now with this update is if we go in, let's say here into the row settings i'm going to click this gear icon click on filter now if i say modified styles this will now load up all the styles that were edited to create this row so this is fantastic because it has filtered out everything that was not edited to build this row so as you can see i can quickly now go to my image and make changes to this if i wanted to and also here we can see that uh, the background was added here okay so let's close this and uh, let's come over here as well and let's take a look at how this was created so let's say uh, i want to know how this heading was created i can just go into this gear icon click on this filter and click on modified styles so this is how it was created. Now, as you can see, there's no way you could tell that these were the only settings that were used to create this heading. And to be honest, this is a game changer because this just saves us a lot of time. Now, if we get rid of uh, the modified styles and we go into text, design, now you'll notice that everything is here. So if we go into text, we have this whole list of things, right? We go into the heading text, you know, sometimes you don't even know if this is a heading two or heading one. You would need to go back here into the text settings, go into text. And now we see that it's heading two. Now we go back and uh, go into the heading text, click on heading two and start making changes. So as you can see, these were like five, six clicks. But now with this filter, I can just come over here, modified styles, and I know exactly where my heading is. So over here, it's heading two, heading two font weight. And that's all I need to change. So this is fantastic news. Okay. So as well as the modified styles, you can also, let's say I am working on this um, title here. Let's, let's make some adjustments because we won't be able to see where the changes are without me working on this page. Right. So I want to come over here to my module and uh, let's add another one. So let's say I need to add a button. And I'm going to center this button like that. And I'm going to give this button a color. So I'm going to go to add background color. So I'm going to add this color right here. And I'm going to remove the radius and also the border. So we don't need the border for this. I'm going to get rid of the border and also the text color. Let's add the text color over here. So, okay. So that looks much better. And let's do a few more changes as well. Let's come over here to the button and let's change the button font. And let's make it medium. Now, in fact, let's make it semi-bold. Great. So that's looking good. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to drag this to the bottom. Right. Okay. So this is where the button needs to be. In fact, let me go in and add some padding as well. So I'm just going to come over here and go to spacing. In fact, it's margin I need to add. So I'm just going to add a bit of margin here like that. So that looks much better. Okay. So now that I've done the, all these changes, 
And let's say I save, I work on a different part of my website. Let's say I come over here. I can also right click and click on view modified style. Okay, so this is very important because this takes me to the modified style. So I can see straight away what styles were changed here. And as you can see here, this is our filters and it's also saying view modified styles, which is great. Okay, so let's save this. And then over here as well, I can do the same. I can right click view modified style and then it shows me all the styles that were modified on the row settings. So as you can see, I'm going into the rows, I'm going into the modules, I'm going everywhere. So over here as well, if I right click, I can click on view modified style. And now it's showing me everything that I've made changes to. So I know <laughs> when I was creating this button, you're probably thinking, okay, why am I doing all these changes? But right now, as you can see, when I, when I select view modified styles, it's showing me exactly what I changed. So I started off by creating the button, doing the button alignment, adding the color, removing the border uh, width, and this is the font that I added, and lastly, I added the margin. So these are the things that I modified on this button. So this is a game changer because it just saves me a lot of time to go in and just try and go through the list of options that I need to update. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is you can actually filter in your options. So let's go back into our module settings. I'll click on filter, active content. So we can actually search within this active content or we can also search within the modified styles. So let's say I want uh, to see where my margins are. I can actually go in and start typing. So as you can see, I've narrowed it down just to the margins. So the search bar the search option also works for that, which is fantastic. So let's say I want to narrow it down to the font weight, so I can just start typing. And as you can see, it's narrowed it down to uh, the font and the font weight. So you can actually search within these modified styles, which is brilliant. So as you now use all these layout packs, you can reverse engineer and see exactly where the changes were made, which makes things even much, much easier. Okay, so the question now is, where do we find the filters button? So this can be found on rows, sections, and all modules, but this is specifically found on the settings. Okay, so if I come over here on the settings, there it is right there. And uh, if I go on the rows as well, if I go into the settings, again, we'll see the button there and into any module. So if I go into this one right here, again, you'll see the filter. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, plugins, and layouts. The link is in the description below. So that does it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.